Hi guys, welcome to this week's Urban Uncut and this weekend we are down with the kids. We are here at Gravity. So we're here at the NEC today and we have three vehicles on our stand. We have the Audi RS3, we have our Rolls-Royce Cullinan, and we have a very, very special T6.1. Now this wouldn't normally be our gig, but I think we've actually nailed it. I think we fit in pretty well. Do we look, do we look sceney? Do we look sceney? We're a slam. Oh, slam. <laughs> Check out the T6.1. So T6.1, now this nearly, nearly, nearly didn't happen. We have cut a set of our Rolls Royce wheels with a flat face in 20 inch to go on the car. Check these out. So we've cut these in our normal T6 fitment, flat face, we've got the floating center in there like the Rolls Royce. We nearly got the same wheels on both, but this was the last minute these were put on at six o'clock last night, just before the show opened this morning. So we've gone for the surf look on this. We've got the roof rails on there to take the surfboard. You'll see the surfboard shortly. Slammed on the floor. We've got our Recaro seats in here with a carbon seat back. They look fantastic with the new Urban logo in the back. That's all painted in. It's not a sticker. We've fine lined that. We've painted the logo on and we've lacquered over the top. Looks crisp. There's lots going on, this place is crazy. I wanna grab Lenny, we need to go and see Zach's garage because he's got some super, super, super expensive cars. No, no, so this was the only car being restored by Mercedes, but this was restored 2004 to 2011. So when did you get it then? I bought it in 2004 and for delivery of it at Memorial Beach in 2011, they won. So there was, this has never been driven since 1955. It's on a thousand kilometers. A thousand And all of the leather is original, the paint is original 55 paint that was sprayed in. Wow. But I can't explain like, how good it looks. It's, it's been, the trouble is now, it's much of a work of art than it is a car, isn't it? That's, that's the thing. But it's so un gravity and slab to UK, but yeah. that's probably why it's getting so much attention, but it's nice to show like the Has younger generation. Has anyone yet? Well, we've had some beef. Have you? So, so what we say? Like, what, 15, I, 20 I, mil? I, I wanted 15 mil. 15 mil? Yeah. 15 mil. And we're not going to go over there, but you've got the Muet Mura out of the Kuntash as well. Now, you know the Kuntash is my personal favourite car. That's the one that now I Now, we've got to go and have a look here. So as much as I can appreciate the, the Konig's eggs and Zach's shirt, the classic Mura, it's the Kuntash for me. Ever since I was like a young kid, Cannibal Run 2, the first five minutes of Cannibal Run I can't 2. I remember that far back. <laughs> the two girls in cat suits, in a Kuntash, and this is it. I brought my cat suit with me as well. <laughs> yeah. For me, to be honest, it's not actually these two, it's the 15 million pound gold wing. He was offered 15 million for it and he didn't sell it four times the price of a normal gold wing, just because it's the lowest mileage one in the world. So a couple of years ago, I was lucky enough to go down to Zach's uh, garage or Zach's museum, and Tim and his dad tossed me the keys to this Kuntash. And they say never meet your heroes, but it was so, so special. It was, it was a very, very warm day, it was about 26 degrees. The windows open like that, no air conditioning. 
manual V12, heavy clutch, light brakes, weird driving position, but it's one of the best things I've ever done. It's absolutely incredible. Like I say, say it's, an, it's an iconic car for me, but yeah, very, very cool. Guys, we have received a package from our friends in Miami, Vossen. They have sent out some of their modular billet centre caps. Now these things are beautiful. Everything that Vossen do is just so perfect. Check that out. Now, interestingly enough, these are the perfect colour and finish for my own wheels. So come with me. Right, so my glamorous assistant, the workshop manager, John, has already prepared my car. They're good, aren't they? Pretty, aren't they? Yep, they're going to look good. So you've already taken out the old centre caps. Yep, there we're we going to put these in. Now this is this is the important bit because mm. Mike had a go at me last time I put my centre caps in because I got them the wrong way around. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to leave it to the professional. No worries. So let's get these in it. Right, Cam, close up, close up, close up because you need to know how they. So obviously you've got the Vossen logo here, you've got the styler wheel here, HF2, and then you've got the. Air the valve, valve so there, we keep that so. in line. Boosh. Look at that. I like cool, them. Lens. That is pretty, isn't it? Yep. I like that. Told you it looked good, didn't I? You were right. I very, right. very happy. Little facelift for my alloy. But I suppose my car is the perfect example of you don't need all the urban products. You can just have a set of Voss and wheels. We do all sorts of cars here. But yeah, they look fantastic. Well happy with them. Right, so I'm here with Jordan from Slam. Obviously, this is our first time at the show. I'm yep. being honest, I didn't think we'd fit in, but do we? You fit in, 100%, man. The car's getting a lot of attention. T6, good. The T6 is unbelievable. <laughs> you just need to bag everything now, the Cullinan I know, defenders. yeah, well, oh, we did try. That, the air didn't nearly work on that when we got in here. We wow. were trying to get it down to access mode. Yeah, man, the stand looks amazing. So you look pretty stressed, but like, I'm okay. What's going on? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's fine. Everybody's here, the cars are here. Yeah. You guys are here, so yeah, we're good. 
you know what? I, did, I didn't expect it to be this busy, a massive turnout. Yeah, it's a lot. How many years have you been doing this show? This is our seventh year. Seventh year. First this, year at the NEC. And this is the biggest so far? Yes. How many attendees this weekend? Uh, probably in the region of 30,000. That's that's real good. That's real good going. Yeah, that's a lot. Especially a lot for a show that's quite niche. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there any scope to broaden the... Uh, 100%. The, the attraction to this show yeah. because obviously this particular crowd if you if you stretch that out uh, across our crowd and across other people so I, I think it, I think it could be massive 100% well now we're at the NEC we've basically got unlimited expansion so because you just go all by all don't you yeah, yeah we've yeah. got the room so obviously we will see what what next year brings but we've got the room to bring more more in awesome, 100%. awesome. well congratulations thanks mate. Mate. Appreciate thanks it. for the invite really appreciate Very it welcome. Thanks if for you're coming. here over the weekend get down to gravity see you there So you guys may recognize this from staff cars. This is Lloyd from the office. This is his RS3 AY. This has got a full kit on it. It's done in satin finished lacquer as well. So the contrast on the black looks absolutely amazing. We mix this up, we put it on 20 inch HF5s. It's sitting absolutely perfect. Some might say it's a little bit low, but I love it. So as we go over to the Cully, stand is looking excellent. Check the floor out. Gary Style done a fantastic job putting that down for us. 10 by 12 meters. I think we will pick this up and take it to every show that we go to because it looks really, really good, suitable for the brand. Cully. First things first, Wide body kit in 4 before carbon, my favourite carbon, it's the chunkier weave, looks fantastic on the Cully. And what we have done on this is I've introduced a pinstripe to the side of the car. And I didn't just want to do an ordinary pinstripe, I wanted to do it with a little bit of a mix up. You can see we've got the new logo here on the rear quarter, flows through all the way to the front, looks exactly the same as the factory do it when they paint it on by hand. We've got our UV5 wheels on this as well. It's looking fantastic. Center spot on the stand. Everyone's commenting on it. Lots of people taking photos. This is my favorite car on the stand. So this is the signature car for the Gravity Show. It's Jordan, the owner's Lamborghini Huracan. Now we put our kit on the car. There's a lot's gone on since then. He's obviously got his new wheels. It's on air as well. It's looking pretty. <laughs> it's the thing for the show. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this to me like it's really nobody code is this and if you disagree then you jaws and your claim get audited who you know do the beat and the talking and write the harmonies i'm really convinced there's nobody out here going hard as me which where the dog they claim belief in me so right so that's jordan's hurricane me and simon are gonna go have a little look around we can't i literally can't hear myself, can't hear myself right behind the dj booth but we're having a great time let's go we're like a couple of old men in a <laughs> show full of kids <laughs> This is my friend Reese. We all know Reese. We all know Reese is a bit of a country bumpkin farm boy. Loves a pickup. So this is this is a bit of you over here, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. Because everybody likes different know, things. Let I me. I know don't Reece. They? It's not. A, it's not a problem. I'm not so saying it's. A, I'm not me. saying it's a problem. I just thought I'd guide you, you in the right say, direction. Uh, look. Hey, it looks mean. It looks it mean. Looks, do you remember the Toyota Hilux from Back to the Future? Do you remember oh, the first yeah, yeah. film? Yeah. When he opened the garage, I loved that truck. Great so truck. I can appreciate a good pickup. Yeah. But I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need you to tell me what's this. What's well, this? they've actually done quite something quite cool. Yeah. So instead of like just putting bits on the outside of it, they've made it look like the F-150. I was gonna say, what is this base on? It's just a Ranger. This is a Ranger. It's a Ranger, it and look how me how mean it looks. So they've got full replacement sides, like bumper, the grills will change. They've put the real lights in it. The rear fenders are all done as well. It make, makes me so excited for the new Amarok, mate. It looks, this looks mean. If we can make the Amarok look anywhere near as mean as Jack it up, yeah, put some yeah. nice urban wheels on it, mate. Right, so instead of my input with Simon, he's going to need you. I'm going to twist his arm and say, come on, Sy, like, let me get in with the design a little do you, bit. Do you reckon we could both twist his arm and get in two Amaroks for us? 
I, I'd really like it. I, I think that would be cool. If it made it look like this, like, yeah, we, we could pull it off as well, couldn't we? Maybe we threaten to arm wrestle him. If we win an arm yeah, wrestle yeah. against him, he's got to give us an arm wrestle. I think that is, that's got to be right, isn't it? Okay, cool. Can you tell Simon to put name down for us to, yeah? EW Amrock, Thank you. Uh, black, lifted, big wheels, big arches, company car for Lenny, um, please, and my mad, mate Reese. Mad light bars. Manufacturing. Love it. What are we saying about this then? It looks so good, doesn't it? It looks so good. So, so good. First time someone's put Rolls Royce wheels on a T6, hey? Floating centre caps, bosh. <laughs> <laughs> no so, hair, no <laughs> hair, no <laughs> hair, no, no <laughs> hair. <laughs> so gravity then, what a show. It was good, wasn't it? What a show. Like the, the, the scale of cars, everything from slammed air rides, VW polos and lupos and the typical scene stuff, yeah. to us bringing a Cullinan, yeah. make Zach and his, Stunning Gullwing, the Connig eggs, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Lambos, but there was literally something for everyone, wasn't it? I was it, actually more surprised at like the like the good vibe of the place. It yeah, was like yeah, it was, it was just it just felt good to be there. Very, it, it very, cool. very, very different crowd to what we're used to. It's like the old auto sport shows, uh, Good Words. Yeah, Not that they were bad, but just very different crowd. Really enjoyed different, it. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. It was quite good because there wasn't actually like when I put a post down and said, "Come and get your free T-shirts." There wasn't actually many people that came over because the crowd didn't follow us. So it was good for us because yeah. we engaged with new people. Different, yeah. And people were like, oh, but, you know, I've seen some of your defenders, but I haven't seen this and this, didn't realise you did this. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, I right. really enjoyed it. This went down a tree, yeah. the Cullinan went down a tree as it always does. Yeah. So what do you guys reckon? It was our first gravity. We was over the moon with the reception. What did the video look like? What did the cars look like? I want to go big for 2024 you know now. The first thing yeah, I thought course. afterwards was like, we have to go big next Because we year. only went for a few hours, didn't we? Because you had something on the afternoon. I was, yeah, I, I was busy. So we only went for a few hours to show face, show support to Jordan and the crew and stuff yeah. like that. But when we, when we, it was like, right, we, we've got to go. I was like, oh, yeah, I, I want to stay all, all day and, and for the weekend. So, so next yeah, so year. Big thanks to Jordan for the invite. Really, you know, blessed. That was amazing that we was included in that. Well done on the show. You've done an amazing job. What, what a great show. And we will 100% see you next year, bigger and better. Probably than your stand. <laughs>